G. Who could have predicted that reproductive rights would erode under a Supreme Court with the likes of Neil Gorsuch and Keg Stan Kavanaugh? Or that voting in a guy who brags about sexual assault would have some negative consequences for women? Well, in case you didn't already feel your rights careening downhill, we learned this week that the SCOTUS wouldn't even bother to hear the ACLU's complaint against Kentucky's 2017 ultrasound law that makes women play virtual patty cake with a fetus before they're allowed to have their bodily autonomy back. The law, which has absolutely no medical purpose and exists only to shame women for having abortions, would have been clearly unconstitutional according to any iteration of the Supreme Court that we've seen in our lifetime. But to this court, it's not even worth reviewing. And what we have right there is a green light that just blinked on in every red state in the fucking union. By this time next year, we'll have women flying 600 fucking miles to begin their five-day government-mandated pre-abortion puppet show of horrors. All the while, Kavanaugh and Gorsuch will wink back and forth about how they haven't overturned Roe versus Wade. And of course, all those shit states already knew this was coming, so it's not like they were waiting for that light to click on. Take this example out of Pennsylvania, where the state house just passed a bill that would require death certificates for fertilized eggs, including miscarriages. And while the bill's sponsor argues that this bill doesn't actually require a death certificate for miscarried fetuses, it does require a burial permit, which you can only obtain with a death certificate. But I'm sure it could be one of those situations where the guy is lying because he wants to hide his good intentions. But with this much bad news to heap onto you, I do want to end with a bit of good news for the American women. And that's the fact that Canada isn't getting any further away. I'm sure they would if they could, but they can't. And the flee north option got all the more appealing last week when the Alberta legislator defeated a bill that would have allowed doctors to deny patients referrals on the basis of conscience. Now, to be clear, if you're planning to immigrate, you're not going to Alberta. It's basically the Oklahoma of Canada. But it's pretty damn encouraging to see that even in one of Canada's most conservative enclaves, their politicians still have the sense to see why this is a terrible fucking idea. Plus, the prime minister is the only politician Noah and I both have on our celebrity list. So while our U.S. listeners plot their escape routes, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 